The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Short kickoff. Number 80. Fields it at the 26. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Well, folks, lining up at halfback is a very, very special player. You bet, Brad. This kid has a great combination of speed and power. He'll be the focal point of this offense. If the defense can't contain him, they'll be in for a long day. Yep, this kid is talented, but you know what, Kirk? I talked to the middle linebacker yesterday at the hotel, and he said this back wasn't going to get 50 yards against them. Wow, those are big words, Coach. We'll have to watch to see what happens. First and a foul. Dropping the pass. Penalty. Automatic. First so they'll move him back after the penalty. I bet that one has the fans steaming. Well, that wasn't a very bright play by that young man. First you can ten. bet that the fans aren't oh, the only ones three. unhappy. His coaches don't look too happy either. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. And he's hammered down. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Second down. Number eight comes to the line with three wide. Moves up in the pocket. He lets it go, and that one's incomplete. Number 21 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third down. Third From their own 45-yard line. Third down. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Number eight lets it go. Incomplete pass. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going, and it's safe to say that's the case as he had zero completion. Oregon lining up the punt. Number 49 is waiting for the snap. Number 49 punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Allen takes it to 28. There's a missed tackle. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. As a coach, I'm trying to show the defense just enough for them to fight on a similar play later on. It's like a chess match out there. They'll work from the shotgun. Lewis. Option, left side. I'd mix it up a little here. You don't want to be too predictable right. out there. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Yeah. Lewis. Trips to the right. Lewis on the option right. Down the sideline. He jukes. So the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. What a great play. That was all the quarterback right there, guys. Whoa, 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 Kirk. You always give credit to the quarterback. I don't. What about the blocking? That's what swung him free. The blocking was good, but it was the decision making. Who picked up all the yards there? Yeah, well, try to pick up those yards without those big guys on the line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. They're in the eye. Here's the option. And they hit him in the backfield. 
When you've got a bunch of yards to gain, your players might be a little excited. I'd calm them down right here. Third down, 15 to go. Lewis comes to the line with three wide. Stepping up, Lewis with a bullet. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. I'd spread out the offense and let my quarterback hey. zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. Lewis lines up in the shotgun. First down, look at the throw. Looking down the middle. And it falls incomplete. What a close call for this defense. You're absolutely right. You're not going to see him drop the ball like that too often. What a break for the defense. Here are the red zone stats so far this season. What do you think, Lee? Well, if they're inside the 20, you better not go anywhere because somebody is about to score. Lewis is back in the gun. Lewis on the option. He fires. And it's caught for the touchdown. What a perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation. That's elevated the level of play for his teammates. If I was a scout, I'd make sure I'd be lots of notebook paper to this young man's team. You think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh -uh. No way. So they're ready for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks off. Number 80 fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. It's first and 10, ball on the 21-yard line. First and 10. Defense lines up in a 3-4. He looks to throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. He overthrew the receiver. Second, Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. The Ducks set up in the gun. Back to pass. Swings it out to his man on the screen. Tackle at the 23-yard line. This quarterback just loves this kid as a target in the passing game. I can see why. This kid is a very disciplined receiver. He runs great routes and rarely drops the football. And that was his 60th reception of the year. So we know he gets the job done day in and day out. From their own 23-yard line, we've got third and eight. Number eight with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. He steps up. It falls incomplete. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. The Ducks are lining up to punt it away. Number 49 awaits the snap. 
Number 49 punched it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Allen fields it at the 48. To the 20. To the 10. And that was a pretty good return. One thing I noticed, guys, is this man is quick. Did you see how he hit that opening? Yeah, when he saw that hole, wow, he ran right through it. I thought he had a good chance to go all the way there. They'll set up shop at the one-yard line. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Rolls to the right. He'll dump this one off. It's complete. And they'll score. What a target that tight end is close to the goal line. Well, the coach has to be happy with this guy's play so far. So I would expect to see a lot of passes thrown his way, especially in short yardage situations. All you need is one. Send out the kick team. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And this one's away. Number 21 feels it at the 27. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just put... In this short yard situation, you got to make sure not to pitch the ball unless you absolutely have to. Lewis is back in the gun. Option. He lateral. And the option play works for good yardage. Yeah, and that was an area that coming into this game, they wanted to improve on, converting on third downs. Yeah, converting on third downs and not turning the ball over. In this situation, I'm telling my guys to hold on to the football and just stay in bounds. They line up at the 32. It's first down. Williams is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Lewis with the give. The 10. And there's another one. Nice call, nice blocking, and an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his good playability was because the offensive linemen executed their assignments to perfection. You think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh-uh. No way. They line up for the point after. And he converts the extra point.
Rutledge will try to hit it just right so they can get a high bounce. Here's the onside. Well, it's safe to say that this coach obviously is not a big fan of field position. Well, not only is this decision mind-boggling, but it also shows a lack of sportsmanship. When you have the lead, you don't kick on sides. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. Number eight comes to the line with three wide. Here they come. Broke away from one. Number eight, unload. And this one falls incomplete. I know it's tough, but as a receiver, you really need to be aware of the sideline at all times. You know, all you can do here is practice, practice, practice. And eventually, that sideline will become a sixth sense to you. The Ducks line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. Someone got a hand on it. The corner made a really nice play on the ball there, Coach. The old receiver never had a chance. That was great defense. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 46. 46 yard line. Number eight lines up from the shotgun. Moves up in the pocket. He throws right. Oh, great catch. Brought down with only one man to beat. Now that's what you have to do on third and long. Yep. He went right at him and hit him in the mouth. That's a great conversion to get the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Brings him down for a loss. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offsides on the defense. Five yard penalty. Still. The offense down. will pick up five yards with that offside. Yeah, the young man was a little too impatient. Oregon in a five wide set steps up in the pocket he takes off Fumble! and the defense is on it a fumble here is the last thing they needed well you know what they say when it rains it pours and at this point they're in a torrential downpour absolutely nothing has worked for them today the offense will take over at the nine yard line Single set back to you. William on the inside handoff. They'll bring him down at the 15. Williams gets six yards on the carry. I keep pounding away here. No need to go to the air and risk turning the ball over. Second and four. Ball on the 15. They line up from the gumbo set. William, the ball carrier, has some daylight. Pitches back, fumbles the ball. Tolbert sweeps up the loose ball. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Talk about a close call. The running back put the ball on the ground, but the offense keeps possession. Yo, Kirk. Is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one, Coach? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that or he's doing his best to get benched. Now I got you, Coach. Fumble's birthday present. I got you. And they make the stop at the 44. A 10-yard gain. With the lead, 
You don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. Lewis and trips to his left. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. The big fella took it and plowed for the first down. He was just following his blocks, and hey, they're moving the sticks. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. The duck bring in their dime package. Tolbert on the run. And the big fellow with some room to the 20. Now with a juke. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. Williams lines up in the deep back. I formation. Little shake and bake move. Tackle at the one yard line. Williams gets three yards on the carry. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. We've got second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Lewis. Lines up with three receivers on his left. Touchdown. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Just kick the extra point, sweetheart. They'll line up for the extra point here. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Rutledge will try to hit it just right so they can get a high bound. Here's the onside kick. So they fail to recover the onside kick. What are the coaches thinking there? That's exactly what I was wondering, Brad. This is just plain stupid. It doesn't make any sense to call a play like that. We'll start the drive at the 37-yard line. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Here's the give. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. Look at how dominant they've been on defense. Well, I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. One team showed immense determination to be number one here tonight, and that's why they are now national champions. Any final thoughts about the championship game? I'm still stunned by the score of this game. I really felt these were the two best teams in the country. I didn't expect it to be such a one-sided affair. But let's give credit where credit is due because it was a very determined team we saw out here tonight and they deserve to be number one in the country.